Hey crafters, it's Janet with Crafting It Up in Creations coming at you today with a really quick Dollar Tree haul. Super excited. I've got several things here that I have not seen anyone else haul or show on their channel. I may have missed it perhaps, but I got about three or four things that I hadn't seen anybody haul yet. Starting with this tube confetti. Oh my gosh, I saw this and I remember them using something like this on some of the pumpkins that they put out last year and it's flexible like you can kind of push it in. Um, they're in kind of like tubular shapes. Um, it's real soft um, but they had decorated some of the pumpkins last year with this. Um, they had like some gold ones. Um, I can't remember if they had any other colors or not but any such. Uh, these are really nice. I think they would be a lot of fun to add to shakers along with sequins or even beads. And they had all these different colors. So the first one had like a gold, a black, and a copper. And then there's a white, a gold, and a silver. And then this is green, red, and blue. And then a turquoise pink and like a lighter green. And the green in this is a little bit lighter than the green in that pack. I think the only duplicate is the gold. It does look like the golds are about the same color, but I think these will be super fun to add to shakers. I can't, I can't wait. I wish that um, they come in a few other colors, but they may even come out with more of these. So I really want to make a Halloween shaker for my embellishment box, so I think that copper will be a nice addition to that. And I feel like you get a lot in these packages, so I think this will go a long way. And then another thing that I found that I hadn't seen anybody have yet are these decor clothespins. Um, these are super cute. They seem like they're very um, sturdy. The clothespins are um, solid colors. And then the pieces that they have put on top of them are like a nice hard plastic. So these little ghosts are really nice. And I, I want to say even if you would decide to take them off the clothespin, then that would be okay as well. Um, to add to like a little shadow box but I think these are really cute and even maybe fun to put on like a little Halloween gift bag they have these little spiders and then they also had the bats now there's only three of the bats um, and I got duplicates of the um, bats and of course the ghosts but I think these are really nice I think they're um, really sturdy and well worth a dollar. And then since I picked these up, I have seen other people haul these little hands. I guess they are made to hold little tea lights in there. Um, you could certainly use them for other things like to put them over something. Kind of like look like it's a hand reaching up out of the ground. Or I've got this little book that I got from the Dollar Tree. You could drape it across something like this. Um, I think you would have to kind of cover up the top, but I think that would be pretty simple if you pulled off that uh, sticker um, and added like uh, dirt or, you know, just about anything to the top of that hand. I think that looks totally spooky. I just really love him. Um, I got two of these. I wish that um, a lot of times when they made some like this, they made like a right and a left um, just to make it a little more fun. Um, and then I picked up a couple of these books. I pick these up every year. If I would just go through my stash, I could probably have found some from last year. But I liked the cover on this. Although, in all honesty, I want to make this 3D. Like, I want to add um, some die cuts to it and make something in the, in the center. And then I also found this decorative filler with the skulls. I picked the white ones. Um, that doesn't look like they have a whole lot of fallout in the bag. So I thought that was pretty cool, but I think I might use those for some Halloween projects. And then they had some socks, and I kind of sped this up a little bit because I did get two pairs of the little fox socks. My daughter loves the foxes. This one's like a little squirrel or a chipmunk. It's kind of hard to tell, but it's really super cute. And these are kind of longer. The other ones were shorter. And then these were some little squirrels with some acorns on them. And then these had pumpkins and sunflowers. And these socks felt a little thicker to me than they do, normally do. And then I did pick up some vase filler. I thought I might use these as well with um, some uh, crafts that I have coming up and maybe even adding to a shaker. 
Just depends on how big that shaker is going to be, but I really like those. And then I did pick up a bunch of the little DIY stickers. I'd like to um, make some of these 3D and add some paper crafting things to them, like the little tiny flowers or like a buckle. Um, so be looking for that to come up. Um, I want to alter these in some way if you hadn't already thought of it yourself. Um, maybe come up with a way to alter some of these. And these are just the different ones that I've got. I'm sure you all have seen these. Um, I think they're a really great deal though um, for these little wooden pieces. But I want to find a way to alter them and dress them up a little and maybe add them to some friend mail or even to my embellishment box ideas. Um, I picked up a pack of the burlap leaves. I try to pick up a pack of these every year. I probably do have some from last year. I think five for a dollar is a really good deal. Um, of course, Hobby Lobby has some like these, but they're a really good quality. And then I did pick up this pack of leaves. It's a 50 piece. You can layer those on the burlap leaves. I picked these up because every year they seem to have a little bit different something in them. One year they had like the see-through, um, almost like a cobweb look. And then these have some of the little burlap leaves as well in them. I love just throwing these around on my tables and stuff just to kind of give just a little bit more of a, a fall feel. And then I have seen these since I've uh, bought them um, before I got this posted. Some of these confetti, it's like uh, large pieces of... Um, filler that you can add to shakers, but they had pumpkins and leaves. And then this one has um, witches, the word boo. And I end up cutting these out here so you can see them and like a black cat, cause they're really hard to tell when you're looking down through the um, camera on this to tell what they are. This one's a little bit more easier. It's like a little tombstone and some ghosts. And then these are bats. They're a little bit harder to tell, but they're bats. And then these have spiders and spider webs and pumpkins. And I just love these. They are really nice and you get a decent amount in there. And I thought these would be fun to add to my embellishment boxes as well. I'll leave Craft Purge's um, information down below. She's hosted a couple swaps recently. This is some stickers that I picked up. I haven't seen anybody haul these either. They have really pretty colors in there. Um, and I just kind of go over through all these and show them all. There's a really nice little red truck in there. I really didn't need stickers, but I couldn't resist these. And little white, white and gold with silver accent pumpkins. And then they also have this nine piece sunflower set. Now I've seen these at Hobby Lobby. They're all wired. They don't have any adhesive on them, but adding adhesive um, to these is nothing. But this is a really great deal. I picked up all four packs that they had. Now last year, I ended up getting one of these little kitty cat wreaths as well. And I made over one and added just a little bit of a different bow and some floral to it. I like it in an eye card above um, or even the um, as well as down below. But I think He's smaller this year. I could be wrong, but I think he's absolutely adorable. These are some um, see-through pencil pouches that the Dollar Tree has. And of course they can go inside a three ring binder. I'm gonna put some of the gems that I have in these just because it would be easy to flip through these and maybe put the little binder clip on them and use them that way as well. And try to put all that stuff together. And then of course the zipper will hold it all shut and the little binder clip keep them all together. And then I did find this electronics duster um, can. It's just a little can that you hook up that little uh, red piece to the tip of it and you've got to break off that top part, but you can use it on your keyboards, um, in crafting things. Um, my thought was with my alcohol inks, I think it would come in real handy. So I'm gonna use it for that. So be looking for that at some point. And of course a small can is all I really need. And then I did pick up these little uh, mini buckets. It's a four piece and they're like little skulls and they do have like a little handle on them. And I thought these were really cute and uh, cute. I think they're spooky actually. Spooky is a better word than cute, 
but I thought that the skull looked much more realistic than some other things that I have seen. So I did get a pack of those. And I see these every year. I usually end up buying one or two of them. Um, it's got a little tea light in it that it lights up, but I love setting these on the shelf and then just turning them on. Now, these metal decorations, I have not seen anyone show these yet. You'll have to let me know if you've seen them in your area or not. Um, they're all Crafter Square, and there are three different ones. I have this um, brown one that's an acorn. It says, Hello Fall. I think they're really nice. Um, they're not really thick, like you could bend them if you really tried to, but they're still a decent um, thickness to them that I feel like if you put them on something, um, it'll hold up. And then they had the orange pumpkin that says, Thankful and Blessed. And I love the writing on these, and I'm actually gonna get a white piece of paper to show you um, a little bit better of what they look like without having that pink grid behind it. But I think these are awesome quality um, for a dollar. I just don't think you can beat it. And then they had one more um, that's, it's a red pumpkin, and this one just says, Give Thanks got a little bit skinnier top to it but these will be um, awesome to decorate with or add something to and like I say they're thin metal but they're still pretty pretty sturdy and then the last things I want to show you are some of the Barbie stuff I'm sure you may have already seen this but I got these to put in Madison's dollhouse I've got to get working on that so that I can have this thing ready by Christmas but I thought to have the little babies to go in the dollhouse would be awesome. And this would give me something, I think I'm gonna give the dollhouse for them to do as a Santa gift, um, if her mom and dad want to. And then uh, I'll give her some of like the little baby dolls and like some of the furniture that goes in it from Auntie. Uh, this is just a little, um, set that looks like breakfast in bed. It's got little waffles and a couple little pieces that go with it, like a plate and a glass. And then they have this little puppy dog with his little bowl and a collar and a bone. And then this is like a little spa um, treat thing that they had to go with it as well. So that's all I have for my Dollar Tree haul. I hope you guys are taking care. Hope you all have a moment to craft it up, and I hope you enjoyed this little um, small haul. Thanks so much for stopping by and spending some time with me, and I hope you have a blessed day. So what's the dream catcher do? Catch you by dreams. Right, and then what? And, and then, and then like this, Fall down the feather. Yep, the good dreams fall down the feather. And come to me. Yeah. What's a good, what's a good dream? Mm. What would a good dream be? Eating ice cream? Yeah. Yeah. Or hugging mommy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love you. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you like your dream catcher? I'm glad.